Welcome to a quick Blender tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a hatched shadow shader like this. At first, I create a monkey for presentation. Then change the render engine to Eevee, because this won't work in cycles. Then open the shader editor. Create a shader to RGB node after the principal BSDF. Then add a color ramp after it, which you set to constant to get a hard contrast. Make sure that the areas you want to have as a shadow are white here. We want to get rid of these mixed gray areas. We only want black and white. To do this, reduce the sampling count to 1. Then you will get a binary shading, which is only black or white. The sampling on only one will make the edges of the object very hard. You can increase the resolution to improve it a bit. Now this will be used as a mask to limit the hatch shading only to the white areas. So now we want to create the lines for the shadow. Create a wave texture and plug in front a mapping and a texture coordinate node. For the texture coordinate use the window plug. When you do this, the lines won't follow the curve of the model, but will always be flat and straight on the screen. Then you just have to rotate the texture on the z-axis on the mapping node to get the diagonal lines. Then create a color ramp after the wave texture and set it to constant. Then you can adjust the thickness of the lines. With the scale slider on the wave texture node, you can zoom out of the texture and adjust basically the amount of lines. Now we set everything up for the multiplication. Create a mix RGB node and plug the two color ramp outputs in the color plugs. Slide the factor to 1 and change the mixing method from mix to multiply. What now happens is that only the white areas from both images become visible. Now we created a mask where we can just map a shadow color to the white areas and a skin color to the black areas. You can do this with just another mix RGB node. Just plug the color from the first mix RGB node in the factor from the second. Now you can just choose the skin color for the first color slot and the shadow for the second color slot. You're basically finished now. You can play with the parameters a bit until you are happy. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, have fun hatching and see you soon.